Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is five o'clock on a Sunday. And so you're probably wondering, what's this video doing on Magic TV at five o'clock on a Sunday? We've just had the Q&A. It's not time for the review show special. What is going on? Well, very simply, what's going on is this is a little bonus video, a little mini interview between myself and David Penn that I'm hoping puts an end to this whole saga between myself and World Magic Shop so we can focus on more important stuff like performing magic, reviewing magic, and basically talking about magic. That's my stuff that I like doing on this channel and the stuff that I am doing at the moment I'm not too keen on. Now, this interview is shot... Uh, you'll see that I'm dressed at a gig. I'm, I'm, well, I'm always dressed when I go to a gig, but I'm just about to start a gig. I'm actually at a wedding venue, uh, and Dave's at his home. Uh, I think he was planning on going to a gig a little bit later on. Uh, so it's not a very long interview, but it's one that I felt that we needed to put out, and it was shot yesterday. So it was shot Saturday afternoon, and um, uh, I, I contacted Dave, and I said, you know, let's, let's jump on... Um, let, let, let's jump on Zoom. We need to we need to kind of do a mini interview. I wanted to try and get over to Northampton to uh, to see him in person, but that just that just wasn't going to happen. My schedule and his schedule is a bit crazy at the moment, to say the least. So this is the way that we did it. We kind of set up a mini Zoom just before I went into a gig. Now, what's the content of this interview that you're about to see? The content of this interview will, I hope, put to bed this whole saga that's been going on for the last few weeks. For those people that don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm sure that most people do, but for those people that don't, I'm going to briefly synopsisize you and get you up to speed so that you can understand what the content of this video is all about. So, um, a few weeks ago, I got into a little bit of a feud with Sean Hayden. That transitioned into a feud with World Magic Shop and David Penn and the Wizard Magic Review, where I was doing a video, then they were doing a video, and I was doing a video. It was all fun and games until a couple of weeks ago when they did a video bringing Mike Sullivan into it and, and talking about uh, me and the Inner Magic Circle. And I, I don't need to reference that again. Everyone's seen it. Um, I, I was open about that. That really upset me. I felt like it crossed the lines. Um, I then did a response video last Wednesday. Uh, where I was completely honest about the whole thing. I wasn't in character anymore. I broke character. I was in character. I was kind of really annoyed about the whole situation. Um, and uh, and I, I kind of explained everything from my point of view. I did not realise that that, that that one video would blow up as much as it did. But it did. I got hundreds of phone calls. And I'm glad that I did get hundreds of phone calls. Because everybody was so nice and so positive. Which was really nice for me to hear. Um, then off the back of that and all the stuff that I was seeing, I did a video on Friday cancelling the rants. And if that's this is the first time you found out about this because you missed that video, um, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I've stopped the rants off on this uh, on this channel. The reasons behind that, you can go back and watch that video. But basically, I want this channel to be more about positivity and growth and improving as magicians and less about angry, shouty Craig. So that's basically the reason why. And then... On the Sunday, so today, although it's not today, today, it's yesterday for me, but it'll be today for you. It feels like I'm in Back to the Future. Uh, in the Q&A that went up a few hours ago, the first question was all about David Penn and Sean Hayden. And it's me addressing this whole Sean Hayden, David Penn saga and talking about how I don't want any negativity towards Dave, because that's not fair. I don't want any negativity towards Sean. That's not fair. And... That's all well and good, but I wanted to do another mini interview just to make sure that everybody knows that we're all on the same page. Because I know I've been on the internet long enough. I've been on YouTube long enough. I've been doing social media long enough to know that people are still going to go, oh, well, David Penn, blah, 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 blah. So I need everyone to know exactly what the situation is. So I did an interview with Dave. Because here's the thing, that the ultimately, I mentioned this on the, uh, on the Q&A, but there's two points that you need to understand before going into this interview. Thing number one is I was just as much to blame as David Penn. In fact, Sean, out of all of this, is the one that's not to blame. It's almost like Sean and Mike Sullivan, in a way, kind of got bought in as um, innocent bystanders, if you were. If, if, if there's any blame, I'm as much to blame as Davis. For two reasons. One, I could have stopped this at any point. 
I could have not done a video back to, to World Magic Shop and that would have killed it dead. If I didn't reply to them, they wouldn't reply to me. I was the one that was keeping going with this whole thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another video. I'm going to do another video. And what do you do? You one-up it. It's kind of like when you do a magic show. I'm going to do a magic show. They're booking me again. I've got to do a bigger and better magic show. Now I've got to do a bigger and better magic show. It's, it's always the same thing. I've got, you, when you're doing things multiple times, you, you're kind of one-upping yourself. And I think that's why... Will Magic Shop or, or Dave and, and Sean went to the whole thing where they brought Mike Sullivan into it because they were just trying to one-up their reply to me. But I could have stopped this at any point. So I have to take responsibility for this. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's not fair seeing all the negativity towards Dave. I've been there. That is not fair. That is not right. I've seen somewhere that people are saying, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, hey, I'm not going to buy a Will Magic Shop product anymore. That's not right. That's not right. That's not why I did the video. That's not why I wanted to do the video. That was not what it was all about. You know, Dave's got a family. He's got, he's got, he's got kids to feed. It's not right that somebody who's incredibly creative should never be have people buying his stuff again just because of an argument on the internet between me and him. So I have to take accountability for that. The second thing is... I, this whole saga between me and World Magic Shop, you need to understand that I never spoke to, Dave, uh, to uh, Sean Hayden about this at all. In fact, I still haven't spoke to Sean Hayden about this at all at any point. But at the beginning, me and Dave were talking about this at the beginning. So when they, uh, they called me a chicken, Dave rang me up. Now, I still think... Weird, because I gave them the, the code beforehand. But here's the thing. Dave rang me up and said, I'm going to call you. Uh, uh, you know, we've done the video. We're going to call you. A we're calling you a chicken or Sean's calling you a chicken on the channel. And I, I, I said at that point, you do understand that I'm going to do a magic rant back to them then. You do understand that I'm, I'm, I'm going to do another video back to you specifically about that. Uh, and he was like, yep, yeah, fine. No problem. So it's not it, or, it's not like I didn't know that that video was there, that, that they didn't know that, I, what I'm trying to say, it's not like I didn't know that they were going to call me chicken. I didn't see the video. I didn't know what it was all about, but I got informed beforehand. I then told them I was going to do a rant. Now, after I did that rant video, I, at that point, I had the conversation with Dave Penn, um, telling him I wanted to come along and film on the show. And he was like, yep, bring it on. Absolutely fine. Um, then at that point, uh, obviously I had the conversation telling him I couldn't go anymore. We've been aware, you know, I, because of various different reasons, which I've gone into in previous videos. I told him I couldn't go, and he's like, "Well, we're going to do a video back to you then." And I was like, "Okay, do a video back to me," and they did do a video back to me. But that's when it kind of crossed the line. I think everybody was trying to one up each other the most. So although it was never really, I mean, here's the thing. I know Dave's plan was originally to have this whole thing um, end at the Magic Circle with me and Sean going one-on-one -on -one with each other in this kind of Magic Off scenario, which would have been super cool and super fun. And like I said on my video last Wednesday, I'd still like to have a Magic Off with Sean. But I'm seeing it over and over again that people are like just... The hate and negativity that's going out towards Sean and, and, and Dave and World Magic Shop, that's not what this is all about. That's not why I stopped the rants. I just want to put this whole thing to bed. And I just want to move forward on the channel doing what I love, which is talking about magic, performing magic, and that sort of stuff. That's what I want to do. I'm spending too much time talking about this scenario. And to be honest, if I could turn back time, if I could find a way... Felt, sounds like I'm going to a song now. If I could turn back time, if I could, if I could find a way, I wish I'd never done this whole saga between me and World Magic Shop because a it ended up ended up really hurting me, and as you know from that video, I, I was really really upset, um, which is why I did that whole response video, and I didn't need to get to that position, and I got to that position, you know, and it's it, I don't get upset very often. I really don't. It really upset me. And I got to that position because of m me 
pushing forward, if that makes sense. You know, like I did a video, they did a video. I did a video, they did a video. So I really wish I'd never done it. Although in the in hindsight, it maybe it's good that I did because this has definitely altered the course of the channel because it's that that's the catalyst for change that's caused me to stop the rants, which I think will ultimately make this such a more positive channel to visit, which is really good. So this video that you're about to see now is a very short interview between myself and David Penn. We jumped on Zoom together, like I said. I'm at a gig, I'm just about to start a gig. Uh, he's at home, he's about to get ready to go to a gig. So it's, um, it's a... Uh, it's 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 a very kind of quick interview compared to the normal interviews that we'll see on Magic TV. But hopefully it's going to clear everything up and then hopefully we can move on from this. I don't want to have any, any negativity towards Dave Penn. You know, you can watch the Wizard Product Review, you can watch Magic TV. There is no need to kind of, um, you know, be in one camp or the other camp. You can be in both camps and that's absolutely fine. Uh, and that's something that you guys need to really understand. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this interview for you now. Hopefully this clears everything up. But as with everything, if you've got any questions, just let me know. I'll always answer whatever questions you've got. Hope that helps. Okay, so I'm here with the one and only David Penn. And once again, Dave, even like 10 or 15 years on, we're still making headlines together uh, <laughs> and and just... We're still, we're still, we're still, we're still the number one topic of conversation in the magic community. We just seem to be a habit. We have a habit, don't we? Of just this, this tends to happen. Well, throughout. I think, I think we upset lots of people, lots of people uh, during our time on the Wizard Product Review. But now we've just decided to upset each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it to a whole other level. I would like to point out that for the first time ever in my relationship with you, I'm better dressed than you are, for once. You're, I'm at a gig. I'm at a gig. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to do a gig while you're chilling at home. Um, but yeah, look, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to get you on this. I wanted to to clear the air. We've talked about this a few times because obviously, I've been going back and forth with the Wizard Pro Review now for a few weeks, and then I put my uh, my response video up to you, which kind of blew up. And then on the Friday, I put a video up saying I'm ending the rants, and one of the reasons for that was this back and forth between uh, you guys and me. And then I addressed it again earlier on today with the Q&A. Um, I want to I wanna kind of put all this to bed because there's been a lot of nastiness heading in your direction. There's been, a, and, and you know, you and know. And yours. And mine. And, and you know, you know. I mean, we were there on the Wizard Product Review when we had to deal with stuff like this all of the time. And... For anybody who's not had to deal with reading comments like that, it's not nice. And, and a lot of people will say, well, you know what, just, just don't read them. It's impossible. It's impossible to not read them. When people are leaving comments, it's, 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 it, I read them, Sarah reads them, you read them, I'm sure Mimi reads them. And it's not nice. And it's one of the reasons that I removed myself from the magic community. And I know it's one of the reasons why you stepped back from actually being a huge dealer in World Magic Shop, wasn't it? Because you couldn't handle the stuff that was was kind of uh, coming your way with a lot of that that spun out from red. So I, I hopefully this video that we're going to do right now is going to stop people from, um, yeah. <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> we just... I think um, the, th the thing is about pe what people don't understand about the whole situation uh, it did get out of control. I think the lines did get blurred between what was being said. Uh, but the thing is, we were talking to each other, me and you, all along. And I think it's important yeah. people know that. And the end game for me personally and you, because we've spoken about it in our private conversations <laughs> away from the review show, was to have a celebratory fun night at the Magic Circle. And we kind of dreamed up this way between us of promoting that. And unfortunately, the Magic Circle is not in a position to open up right now because of the airflow system and that. So if we did end up doing something, it's all been delayed. But, you know, the, the thing is, I know that when you do your rants, uh, you become a character because in the early days of the wizard uh, product review, I know when we used to review things and used to say, right, I'm going to do a rant on this. That is not the Craig Petty that I know as a friend. 
You know, there's yeah. Craig Petty, the YouTube star, the incredible content creator uh, that does a rant every now and then. Uh, but there's also Craig that's this character uh, that, that's himself, that's a, a, a genuine, you know, completely different person, family man, father, that kind of thing, completely different character. And when we were doing this back and forth, especially the early one where we, you were kind of going into your Hulk Hogan impression and that kind of thing, that I knew, and we were laughing about it the next day on the phone, that that was your character. And we were just having this back and forth and the end game was to promote the thing. But I think from what you've said to me on the phone, you were getting additional comments about Red from other people. And it was what it was doing that was mounting up along with the things me and Sean were saying. And eventually, you know, and I apologize for this, it, it tipped you over the edge and you genuinely became upset. And we... we... Well, there's, two th there's, there's two things that I think people need to hear about this. And the first thing is, I put my on that video that I put up on the Wednesday at 12 o'clock, I put my phone number on the screen. And since then, I've had a whole bunch of people reach out to me and call me and so on and so forth. But the first person to call me was you. And I think it's important that people need to realize that when you called me, you didn't call me going, take that video down or what you're doing or anything like that. The first thing that you said to me when you called me was, are you okay? That tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. That tells me everything that I need to know. You weren't ringing me up to how you didn't have an agenda. The only yeah. agenda was, are you okay? I've, we've been friends for 16 years. Are you okay? And anybody who's been friends with somebody for a long time, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. I've spoken openly on this channel about Red. And you know, you were there in the early days. It's, it is the reason I left the community. And it's the thing yeah. that continues to follow me along. And when this whole thing came about, uh, you know, I, when, when, when Sean called me a chicken way back in the, uh, the very first video, two things that people need to know. One, uh, you'd filmed it beforehand, but you rang me up and you said, by the way, Sean's called you a chicken on this week's channel, on and this week's was, video. And, and it was at the end of the edit, and I asked you if it was okay. And I said, okay, but, you know, we are going to have, I am going to have to do my response to this. <laughs> I am going to have to, then you were like, bring it on. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and I did my response, and I did a very funny, jokey, you know, I have the face that runs the place, all of this over-the-top wrestling stuff. You then came back with your rebuttal video, which again was really, really funny. The whole red thing wasn't your fault, but it caused a lot of... Because here's the thing. I heard somebody say this the other day. They said, Craig Petty uh, is like Marmite. You either love him or hate him. And then somebody else said, oh, I always hated Craig until I met him. And then I realized he's a really nice guy. And I think, of course, I've had <laughs> this character that you spoke about. For, it's true. It's like, apparently that I'm... I, I suck until you meet me and then I'm okay. But like, I've, because I've had this character for years that you, you are aware of because you've seen it develop over the course of the Wizard Product Review, people think that's a real person. Um, yeah. But for me, YouTube is, is an entertainment outlet. A little bit like, I'm fairly sure but John Vanderbilt doesn't go down the shops dressed as a green dragon. I'm pretty sure he does. Now he might do because you know what John Vanderbilt's like, but I'm fairly sure that he doesn't do that, right? And, and it's a character that I play that's not me. And that's one of the reasons that led to the, the, the rant videos being stopped on this channel because I just can't do it anymore. But by the way, the point I'm trying know, to make here... You know, with regard to the rant videos, privately, we've spoken about that. Yeah, and we've I, spoken and, about it. And I said that I've always thought your channel was so much better than that one Friday night video. And I thought it was, you know, a little bit detrimental to the amazing stuff you were doing. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing, and, and you were the first person to say that, actually. You were the very first person to say that about the channel. And, uh, and I want to say something about that as well in a second. But the point I'm trying to make about this is the thing that when you, when Sean brought up Red, that kind of affected me. But that wasn't the intention. I know that wasn't the intention. The thing that caused me to do the response video that I did was just because of the, the thing that happened on the Wednesday before. And, and like you said, I felt like it had blurred the lines between fantasy and reality. Now, in honesty, if this never took place over YouTube, it probably would have been forgotten. 
because I would have rung up and I would have gone, what the fuck? and you would have, and it would have, and social media blows this stuff up like there's no tomorrow. I'm, like I say, you were the first person to call me up and ask if I was okay. And you could tell that I was in a bad place and I was. Like I said, people in the office were getting phone calls about Red. Sarah was getting phone calls about Red. And you know, I had death threats. You remember the guy that said that he was going to bury me in the desert in Las Vegas just because yeah. of a magic trick? Like, yeah. just because of a magic trick? Like, this thing has followed me around for years. And it was, it was, and I know you've been here as well. So you can, you can relate to this. It's like, you want to read the comments. You can't, you can't stop yourself from reading the comments. You can't focus on your family. You can't focus on anything else because you just start focusing on, oh my God, what is this person saying about me? What is this person saying about me? And that's why I left the community. And you know, I, I, the reason I left everything and went away was because I wanted to focus on Ryland, Thea. Well, Thea didn't even exist there, but Ryland and Sarah and, and the business. And, yeah. you know, and, and, and I came back, but I know you well enough to know, like I say, the thing that really, that, and I mentioned this on the Q&A, but I'm going to mention it again now. You made a really good point when you rang me up after that conversation saying, are you okay? In the same conversation, you said, um, because there were three points I made and one of it was about Sarah's mom, and you made a really good point. You said, look, I didn't think it was my place to tell people that your wife's mom had died. And that's a really good point. Sarah hasn't put it on her Facebook. It's on Facebook if you go and find it. We've been tagged in on it. But I don't think Sarah's put it on her own Facebook. But that's a really good point. That's a that's a really good point. Like I I I I can't cannot disagree with that at all. And to be honest, yeah, well, I mean, you know, we've had discussions about as friends, you know, that would never see the light of day on the review show. You know, I've talked about losing my father. You've talked about things to do with business and that kind of thing. We would we would never have these discussions on a review show because at the end of the day a review show is meant to be fun. Uh, it's, it's meant, and, you know, genuinely, if I caused you any upset as a friend, I apologise for that because it was only meant to be fun. It was only meant to be banter. We were only meant to be promoting a night that uh, deep down, I hope, would be a really successful night for the Magic Circle and maybe a way to encourage people to come back after COVID. I saw it as a lot of positives to gain from our uh, public feud, if you like. And, uh, you know, I'm, it just all went wrong. We didn't handle it very well. And I don't think I handled it very well. But that phone call, when I phoned you that morning, I'd already decided we, we have completely different ways we think about our career now. You've told me many times, Craig, that you you're stepping back from performance more. Uh, I'm pleased yeah. to see you at a gig today because you are incredible and audiences deserve to see your magic. But you've told me you're stepping back from performance and you're focusing more on your channel. And that's absolutely apparent with the amount of amazing content that you put out. Uh, whereas I think I'm the opposite. Over the years, I've reduced my time with the amount of time that I bring to putting new releases out, creating new products. I maybe do that two or three times a year at the most. And certainly the Wizard Magic Review used to be every week. I've reduced that down to every two weeks. And as I've said before many, many times, in all honesty, I'm, uh, it's 12 years for me. I've been doing it a long time. I'm not as passionate about the review show as I used to be. For me, I like looking at new magic, but the thing I like the most is spending time with my friends in magic, like Wayne and Sean. And when they come over, we'll have breakfast, we'll watch some reviews, then we'll go out and have lunch, and then we might go and do something else. Like so when we're filming again, we're going to film, we're going to have a meal, then we're going out to the casino, and it's like a whole day with your friends. And for me, that's what it's about. And it's like, a, you're, you're, I'm focusing more on the performance and going away from YouTube, whereas you're going away from performance and focusing more on your channel, which is obviously apparent. And what I didn't tell you was that I'd come, uh, I'd thought about it for an hour or so before I rang you. And I decided that if what I was doing with this channel, with our show, was upsetting a friend of mine 
that I've been friends with for years, it was probably time to stop. And it was a bit of a wake up call. And I'd, I'm, I'm so grateful that we had a really good chat and obviously resolved everything that morning. But I'd actually decided in my mind that if I couldn't resolve it, it was, it, it, I thought about ending it 10 years on the dot, but we're 12 years coming in for now. But I'd actually decided that, you know, if it was going to affect a friendship that's lasted so long, like ours, that's so strong, we've been so supportive of everything over the years that we've done together, uh, in, around magic and away from magic as well, it just wasn't worth it anymore. And I wouldn't have said that was the reason, but I, in my mind, I've kind of said, maybe it's time to bring it to a close because you're doing such an amazing job with your, with your channel. Uh, you know, ours is like, it's just an extra thing. We, we almost don't take, we don't take it seriously as you do. Yours is amazing. Yours is a full resource for magicians. I wish it was available when I started in magic. I'd be a better magician now uh, if your channel was available when I started in magic. Us now, these days, 12 years later, we're just a little review show that goes on every two weeks but really for me it's just about having fun with my friends and the moment that it ceases to be fun and it starts affecting everybody else if I hadn't have resolved that with you I'd have probably stopped doing it because I've gone through this in my head quite a few times well, please please don't please don't it's too good to stop and here's the thing and I want everyone to understand this that's watching this me and Dave have been friends for years now I want everybody who's watching us to ask themselves a question have you ever had a friend that you've had you've been friends with for 16 years and you've had an argument you've slammed doors you've had a back uh, you've had a, a knockdown drag out and you're just like right that's it i don't want to be your friend anymore and then at some point you reconnect when your heads are uh more with it or whatever the reason might be and you end up laughing about it down the line all that's happened here is that you and i've been friends for years um, we've done something which has gone completely out of hand. I got pissed off at you. Um, you had you, you with all the shit that you had coming at you after I got pissed off at you. You'd be in your right to be pissed off with me. You, you, I wouldn't have blamed you at all to pick up the phone and go, "What the hell?" But you didn't. And that shows character, and uh, genuinely, it does. If this wasn't on the internet, people wouldn't have even known about it. It would have been a blip, but it's been blown out of a lot more proportion. Um, and like I say. Two things, three things. Number one, that people need to understand. You, 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 you and I have both got this reputation. Like, you, you, you know, you've got a reputation of being a guy that's, uh, you know, like, yeah, 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 you don't always help. That's not true. You are amazing. Like, you, the, the reason, I'll I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to say it because I don't care. You're the reason I got back into the magic circle. You, you are the person. You were, you were the reason. Like, I got... I, I got knockback letters. I got people saying, no, no, no. I got official letters from the, from the council saying, no, we're not going to have you back in. You're the one that went to bat. And if it had gone wrong, you would have been the one. If I'd have blown up and said something about the circle that they weren't happy with, you would have been the one that got it in the neck. I think people need to understand that. And also, and I don't want to talk about this too much, but oh, the certain... Not, hang on, the uh, it's fine to say that but it's my job as a counsellor to make the magic circle the best magic society in the world on council. And I'm responsible for that. And as far as I'm concerned, if you weren't a member, it's not. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but, you, but that wasn't your job as a counsellor. The council had made their decision. You went above and beyond and said, well, actually, so it's not just that you're on the council because the council as a, a collective had made the decision and you went, well, hang on, no. And you went above your job as a counsellor to bring me back in and I'll ever be grateful for that. And the second thing that people need to understand, and we can't get too much into this for various reasons, but there's certain opportunities that are going to be uh, falling Ryland's way at some point in the next couple of late years. And, and you were the guy that made that happen. And you were advocating for that. Well, if, if you're it's, it's such a horrible... Good. You're giving me too much credit. It was 5%. 5% of... Okay, but you're... And, and you're it's 95 percent deserved is, you know... Ryland, you, you, play, you, Ryland, play. you and Ryland have made that happen, not me. But you, you played a huge role. 
and you didn't have to. Nobody told you to. It wouldn't have made any difference to our friendship if you hadn't have done it. Um, so that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what people need to understand as well. So regarding this whole thing, I meant what I said about the, at the end of the video, I meant what I said, but I know you believe that as well. When I said at the end of the video on Wednesday, where, hey, if you feel like you're in a horrible place and you feel like things are coming down, uh, because we've both been there, you've been there. We've been yeah. there when we were on the Wizard Pro Review before, when we, I remember sitting on the sofa about 10 years ago now, and we shut down the Wizard Pro Review. We yeah. stopped it and we walked away. And we only came back because people wanted us to come back, but we had made the decision to stop the Wizard Pro Review together because of the amount of stuff that was happening to us at the time and the amount of hate and we couldn't handle it anymore. When you're in the public eye, it happens all of the time. And I meant what I said, that if you ever feel like you're overwhelmed, you can contact me, but I know you feel the same way. That's yeah. what's annoying about this. You feel the same way. The reason you stood for council for a second term on the circle is because I know that you wanted to be a force of change and you wanted to take the bad press that's happened over the last year and you wanted to turn it around. That's the only reason. And people need to understand that you're not paid to be on the Magic Circle Council. It's not like you get a big fat check at the end of every month. Exactly the opposite. I can't imagine the amount of crap that you get from being on the uh, on the circle as a councillor that you have to deal with and you're not even getting paid for it. So I think people need to it's understand. Not, to be honest, it's mostly, it's mostly positive. And now we're coming out of COVID. We're looking forward to opening the doors again. At the moment, we can only have 60 people in for every event, but when it becomes a fully functioning venue again, it's, it is going to be incredible. There's nowhere like the magic circle. It's amazing. Which is why I fight, fought so hard to get back in. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that this little video that we've done here um, says to people, look back off now. All this is, is this is, this is two friends that, that, that have, um, you know, fallen out over something. I've, you know, like the funny uh, thing is, badly to... the fun th funny thing is, isn't it, Craig? We planned to fall out, but then it became a real fallout. <laughs> you know what? I remember. Here's the funny thing. Like as I, like as I say, for people that are watching this, I never spoke to Sean. No, ever true. about this. In fact, I, I haven't spoken to Sean for a month. I never spoke to Sean ever. Um, but at the beginning of this whole process, you and I did sit down and chat and talk <laughs> and go right. Okay, I'm I'm gonna. And, and, and I remember seeing one of the comments on, on one of the videos and somebody said, um, oh, uh, you know, this, this, this feud, uh, does anyone remember how Tupac Shakur and Biggie ended up? And I was like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what a stupid comment for somebody to make. Ah, oh, if only you could bottle hindsight because obviously several weeks later, um, I think it was the, the, the one-upmanship and it's kind of like, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, that's going to screw them up and they're going to come back and right, they're going to say this. And then all of a sudden, it kind of became very real. And I honestly, it, 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 I did feel overwhelmed. You know as well as me, you can tell. Like, well, you know I'm not a particularly great actor. You know that that video was not for me. I couldn't, I couldn't, that, that, that came right from the heart. And you know I do hold my heart on my sleeve. Mm. But to be honest, if, you know, we should, it didn't need to get, to that point it really didn't need to get to that point and we sh you know we maybe should have dialed it back between us but you know if only you can bottle hindsight right but um hopefully this is going to clear everything up that like there is no there is no reason I would, I would like to still have the event at the magic circle i don't i don't know if it needs to be a magic off but no 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 whoa 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 let me cut you off right there because you know that i do have an ego and <laughs> I do have an ego and you and I had a, arranged a magic off all those years ago with Justin Miller and that never ended up happening I'm not going to go down in history as the only person to arrange two magic offs that have never <laughs> happened no 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 that's not going to happen I will have my magic off with Sean but the difference is we're not going to play up to the cameras we're not going to joke about I'm going to walk on that stage and I'm going to uh, beat him obviously um, he's going to walk out on that stage and I'm sure he's going to think the same way about me. The difference is um, it's just going to be two friends and, and either if he beats me, not going to happen, then um, I'll shake his hand. If I beat him, he'll shake my hand. And the real winners, if we do that, if we do that, the real winners would be the people in the audience of the circle that night. 
because well, you I know, will, as I, I said on that video, but... just about that. Hopefully, we can make it a celebration because it is about time that we celebrated 12 years of magic review shows. And I know you went away from it for a while, but crikey, the amount of content you've put up in the last two years, you know, you've way overtaken what we ever started. And it's time that we celebrated that. And I would like it to be a celebration. The magic off maybe can be part of it. I'm not sure I still want to be part of it. I'll turn Don't up wait. on the night. I think I might leave that part to you and Sean, but I definitely think need to, I think there needs to be a celebration of what we've started and what you continue to achieve. And I'm not even going to include ourselves on that. It's you now that is like blazing this trail of what an amazing YouTube channel can be. And it, it is just unbelievable. I can't believe the amount of content you put up, the amount, I still haven't gone through all the interviews. I purposely haven't listened to them in the gym so I can listen to them when I'm going along in my car. Um, it's, I plan to listen to the Michael Close one today, actually, on the way to uh, Cambridge. We're filming this on Saturday. Tonight, I've got your friend going up, Laura London. Amazing. Well, Laura's an amazing talent. She's got her own show uh, in the West End at the moment. I saw Cheat. her at Magic Live. I saw her at Magic Live. She's in, I did a gig with her and she's an incredible performer. She just sat at the gig. I was going around busting a gut doing close up magic. She set a table up kind of like a gypsy and she had like big crowds of people watching her doing her card cheating. And uh, yeah, it's she's just an amazing performer. She tells a story about the first when she was at the Edinburgh Fringe and she had a whole bunch of special uh, de like decks set up for deck switches underneath this table and the whole table collapsed and they all went all over the all over the stage in the middle of the performance. It's really worth watching. It's, but it, yeah, she's, she's great. She's fantastic. Very inspirational. But yeah, look, we're getting we're getting distracted now. And we're just chatting. Um, <laughs> no, nobody wants nobody wants to hear that. So look, from my point of view. Anybody watching this, you need to understand that, you know, everybody who made a comment saying, oh, uh, you know, I can't believe this and I can't believe this. It is six of one, half a dozen of the other. Like I, in the video when I, um, when I um, talked about ending the rants, um, I said, I said then, I said, I have to take full accountability for a lot of the stuff that's happening here because I didn't have to do a video back to you. You could have just phoned me up and said, hey, we're going to call you a chicken. I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. I'm getting my own thing going on. But I didn't. I sent a video back to you. You sent a video back to me, and it uh, it became who's got the bigger balls, and and so <laughs> I have to. And the answer is you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's it's six of one, half a dozen another. It's a drama that's played out on YouTube that will be forgotten in six months. But I really, really don't want people. You know, I've been a fan of yours for years, which is why we spent so much time together releasing magic. And I, I, I don't want people not watching the Wizard Product Review and I don't want people not watching um, the stuff that you've got going on because um, they're going to miss out, frankly. Like, you've shown me your Blackpool release and it is the best version of that plot I've ever seen. And for anybody who's watching this that's, like, going to go, right, okay, I'm a magic TV till I die, well, you're going to miss out on the best version <laughs> of that plot that I've ever seen. And I'll be laughing at you when I'll be the one performing it at gigs like the one I'm about to start in a few minutes. So I think we just need to say to everybody, you know, I mean, are you still going to do? Are you still going to do? Because I was concerned there wasn't going to be a Wizard Magic Review special. Uh, sorry, a World Magic Shop Review special. Are you still doing that? <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's already half filmed and it's going up next Sunday. It's, Amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I am doing one. It's going up next Sunday, and uh, yeah. Well, don't be too uh, harsh on us. Just put all the, put all this trouble to the back of your mind, please, Craig. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I might, I might start something with Wayne Fox next. So uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be a, that'll be a, no. I wouldn't do that with Wayne Fox. He scares me. I mean, the big no, he'd um, no. I don't think I'll go there. But in all seriousness. Um, yeah, the review show special is happening. I, I, I just want everyone to call it a day now and, and just be done with it. This is exactly what happened. It's something, it's a situation that went out of control. And, um, you know, hopefully this video will put it to bed. Thanks for having me. Still friends. Right,
still friends until until the magic off. And, and then it depends on whose side you're on, Sean or mine. I mean, I'm independent. We'll I'm truly independent. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm going to stand in the middle in my grey suit. Okay, I'll, I'll 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 accept that. I'll accept that, guys. I'll see you again soon. Next week, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash World Magic Show. Subscribe to us on YouTube up there. Click subscribe, and John, when he feels like it, might send you an email. About he does it every time. We can't diss John. The last three weeks. Okay, in a guys, row, can he's you let me it. know? Just comment on YouTube, comment on Facebook, comment on the Magic Cafe under the uh, section. Let me know if you get this mythical little, uh, <laughs> this mythical little email, because I don't believe that Jonathan Farr is sending emails out to anyone that's bulletin. So I want to know. It's a bulletin for all YouTube subscribers. Rubbish. Let me know. Till next week. I'm Dave. I'm Craig. And that was the Wizard Puppy Review.